as far as just going back to WWE for a second, because that just fascinates me. I love when like good guys get recognized and they get to not that ECW small, but you know, you go to the go to a bigger company and you kind of yeah. get recognized. But did you think that it was almost too many guys there? Because they had so many guys on the roster. It was like, you know, like so many guys that were great could get lost in the shuffle. I know you work Billy Kidman, you have an impressive match, but you can get lost in the shuffle over there pretty quickly. It was a lot of guys on the roster. There were a lot of guys. And they would bring all these people to TV. You'd have to call this is the weird thing. Well, it wasn't really weird. You'd, you'd get your booking sheet in, in the mail with, with like your plane tickets or with your paycheck. And you, you get the booking sheets for the month. And you go through, you'd see the, you know, Nitro here and Tuesday night tapings here and house show on Wednesday. Thursday was Thunder and all the house shows and everything else. And I would look through the house shows. My name was never on the list. I kept every show I had to line up. You know, so I'm like, okay, nope, 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 nope. And then you'd have to call. On, I don't know if it was Thursday or Friday, you'd have to call into this 800 number and you'd have to listen to the talent list for Nitro. So you go through, you have to go through the whole thing. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh-huh. It'd be like uh, Medusa, you know, and then Mikey Whipwreck and then uh, Macho Man or whatever. So I'm like, well, okay. And I heard my name a couple times and I would go. But you see in the locker room, there'd be fucking people everywhere. And 80% of them weren't, weren't doing anything. They were just fucking there. So, I mean, the, the, uh, I can't tell you how many times they booked me at the last minute. And they'd overnight my plane tickets. And they'd pay you know, $2,500, $3,000 for my plane tickets. And then they wouldn't do anything. Crazy. I would just, I would just sit there. I thought, this is crazy. But, you know, when you have that type of money, I guess. That's just crazy. And that's yeah. interesting the way they do that. You got to call the number and you had to call. Woman? And then, like on like Monday, you had or Tuesday, you had to call for Thursday. It was it was for Nitro and Thunder. You had to call in and call the talent hotline. Wow, is that normal? I don't know if I've ever heard of that before. I don't. Know, that's how they did it. Which I, which I guess was in a way it was kind of good. You have to call see if you're going there. If you were on the list, then you figure, well, I'm staying home, which happened to me quite often. But I mean, it worked. It seemed to work out all right. Do you get paid anyway for being at home? Yep. Guaranteed contract? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. We would get paid from the 1st to the 15th. And then that would check would come like Tuesday, the following week. And then you get paid from the 16th through the 30th of the 31st. So my the first paycheck of the month was always the same. It was 15 days. And then the... Uh, the second check of the month was was either thirty or thirty one days or twenty eight days in February, potentially twenty nine, and it was nice. My, my bank account went up really quick. I knew exactly what I was getting paid every, you know, because they take your they take your yearly income and they divide it by three sixty five, right? And you get paid per day, and they just figured it out. You know, fifteen days is this, you know, sixteen seventeen days is this, or whatever it was. So I could plan ahead and actually know what I was getting paid. Yeah, that's nice. Which was cool. I, you know, I'm not going to complain about the pay. Would you be upset like if you weren't booked, or are you happy like, hey, I'm getting paid anyway? You, you know, you guys are paying me to sit home. Uh, uh, in the beginning, I was very, I was getting very antsy because re- I was ready to just do something, and then out of the blue, they booked me for that that pay per view with Kidman, like two days before they tell me. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Uh, and then I did nothing again until I think the pay-per-view with Scotty Riggs yep. in uh, Seattle. And then I did a couple things here and there. I did like a couple TV matches. I think I worked like Viano 5, Bobby Van Blaze. Hans. Van Hammer. Dude. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> um, hack. But but I, for those part, I wasn't really doing much. I wasn't I wasn't doing anything, and I was like getting antsy. And then in August of ninety nine, I just it was the week after. What's the week after? Two weeks after. It was um, that that fuck Nitro in Las Vegas where they had Kiss come out. Mm, yep. I had that match with uh, what was his name Chase Tatum. Yeah. 
that was just fucking dreadful. Like I, I just, I've never been so mortified of a match in my life. And yeah, as soon as that, I quit. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.